most importantly, they weren't centered on God. The world's views consume me, and uh, my life, uh, and I lived my life trying to see how many girls I could get with. It took over my life so badly that only disaster could happen next, and it did. Yeah, I tried. I tried taking my life. The life God so lovingly gave to me that he died for. And all because of a girl. I was about to become another number on someone's list of statistics. But you know what? God had my life planned out so much better than I could only imagine. I didn't realize that at the time, but my life was changing. And today, God is using me now for his glory. He placed himself in me and told me to wait patiently and obediently for the one true love to be. I'm to be pure and wait for the wife he wants to provide. And when it's time, I will come with you. And what's really cool is that while I'm here waiting patiently, he helps me not worry about it with his word. In Proverbs 31, the author states, a wife of noble character, who can find? She is worth far more than rubies. Her husband, which is me, had full con has full confidence in her and lacks, lacks nothing of value. And he finishes the proverb by saying, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Give her the reward she has earned and let her works bring her praise at the city gate. That's my wife. I'm not compromising. That gets me excited. I can bear the weight because he gave me Proverbs 31. I'm Mark Kleiman. I'm 19. And